I'm really excited to welcome our first guests. Please welcome No Stars. So Emma Schultz and Julian Runyon, let me start. Um, how did you all get together? So you were teaching for Stewart's Opera House, uh, doing instruction classes and playing music, and then how did this all form? I had a whole bunch of songs written from like high school through college, basically, and uh, wanted to actually do something with them. So um, I posted on like one of the Facebook groups um, asking for a drummer, and Julian was the first to respond, and I'm so glad that he did. <laughs> 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 Me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we also had um, our original bassist, Sam Crawford, um, who left us to do AmeriCorps. Um, but now we have Seth McBee to complete the lineup with a rotating uh, lineup also of guest keyboardists. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. A lot of classic bands started with classified ads and now advanced <laughs> into the Facebook era. Was there anything uh, notable about that? I just think about ads where people had really weird combinations and it was like the right fit i mean we like our first practice was like oh yeah in, a first, shed. It was in a shed <laughs> out on harmony road i told them the directions and i'm sure they were scared when they pulled in the lot <laughs> a little bit <laughs> wonderful so um so you've been working on music this year i think your last single was out in 21 is that right mm -hmm. so talk through a little bit about what you've been working on and what fans can expect well, got a lot of stuff written. A um, lot of stuff around, I don't know, like covering similar themes to what we write about because that's how life works. Um, <laughs> so if you resonate with any of our music already, I think um, you can expect that, but maybe more flushed out and grown up a little bit. Um, yeah. yeah, they're great songs. <laughs> yeah. So you all been doing home recordings? Are you going in and out of studios in the area or So far, well our I mean our first EP was recorded at Three Elliot. Mm -hmm. Um and then our last um single was recorded at home. Um and uh we're trying we're working on demos at home. Um might put out one more song from home recording. Um but we're playing it by ear. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So, um, and then performances um, starting to pick up. I caught a really great set you all did with Camp at the Music Industry Summit at the uh, sold out Memod show, which was wonderful. That was unbelievable. What was that like? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've never seen that many people looking in my general direction before. <laughs> ah, that stage was beautiful. It was a great experience. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. One cool thing about that, just talking with them, like they handpicked you because they really loved what you were doing, wanted to help support the local scene. So um, was that a surprise when they reached out to you and said, we want you all to, to open this show? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was crazy. It was just like an uh, Instagram DM. It was really nice. <laughs> Best kinds of DMs to get, right? Yeah. Wonderful. Well, I know everybody's really excited to hear from you all, as am I. So please join me in welcoming No Stars.
Is everyone good and sweaty? <laughs> make Julian just sit in the back for this song. <laughs> he can drum if he wants. Yeah.
short and simple because we've got another set at 4 30 <laughs> on the porch stage so uh, you can join us there if you want um, this uh this song was the one that we put out as a single last year. Um, it's called A Good Thing.
Thank you. Um, I think we might be wrapping it up. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, it's really cool to be a part of the first season of the Sycamore Sessions, seventh season of the used to be Gladden House Sessions. Um, watched a lot of them <laughs> throughout the years um, on YouTube or in person, so it's just really cool to be a part of it. So thanks to Josh for asking us and to everyone who's working on it. Um, yeah. We'll do one more, and it'll just be me. I don't love you anymore. That's what you would have said in my head. But instead, you said you never loved me at all. So what are you doing? Get the fuck out of my 